Hi guys, in today's video, we will take a look at the earned value management. If you are new to the project management or if you are preparing for your PMP exam, you may be intimidated by the different formulas and the terms associated with the earned value management or the calculations. Well, today I'm going to attempt to simplify the earned value management for you. By the end of this video, you will have a good basic understanding of what earned value management is, how to apply the formulas if you are preparing for the PMP exam. In simple terms, earned value management or the metrics used in the earned value management calculations are indicators to the PM to understand if the project is on track or off track. Hey, welcome back. So if you don't know me, I'm Nikhil, a PMP and CSM certified project management professional. On this channel, we go through different examples of MS project, Jira, Agile, and all project management related stuff. So if that is something that interests you, then consider subscribing. I'm going to walk you through the EVM process, the earned value management process through a simple example. So we will take a project of painting a room with four walls and let's say each wall take one day to complete that means exactly 25 percentage of work for one wall so all four walls will make it 100 percent and on day one we will keep the cost and the schedule as planned that means we plan for 25 percent completion of the overall work which is one wall and one day and we will keep it at that so that you can see how the formulas look. On day two, we will make adjustment in a way that the planned work is not complete instead of 25%. So the planned work is only completed at 15%. So at that point, we are behind schedule and you can notice what happens with the earned value formulas. On day three, we will make up for the day two lack of completion and we will spend some time additional and that will impact the cost and also we will add some cash advancement from day four into day three so that you can see the overspending amount in the budget and how that reflects in the earned value management formula and on day four we will bring all the scheduled work as planned and it will all match and the cost will have a variance because we overspend on day three so that's the example that I'm gonna walk you through. Just wanted to give a high level overview of what I'm planning through. And I'm gonna take you to the tablet and walk you through the example that I just explained. Bear with me as I walk you through the example because it's time consuming, but I think it will all make sense in the end. All right, so let's jump into that. All right, so now let's take a quick example of painting a wall. I have a project. It is to paint a room roughly hundred dollar per wall so that's our project and let's say the budget is 400 duration or the schedule plan is four days the project need to be done in four days all right so let's draw the wall each wall is gonna cost us hundred dollar so that's our planned value so total we have 400 at the bottom, I have put in the table. I think the only thing that we can fill in now is the planned value because we already planned for the project. Cost for day one is going to be $100. We have to pay that. And then cost for the day two. So if you look at cumulative on day end of day two, we would pay additional 100 So that will add up to as 200 And on day three, additional hundred dollars so that will add up to three hundred dollar and on day four additional hundred dollars so that adds up to four hundred so from a schedule perspective on day one we have one and then on day two the schedule is going to be two because two days three and four so that's the planned value now for time being earned value and actual cost we are not going to be able to fill it because it's going to happen as we complete each day's worth of work so let's say we are painting red color wall. So we started painting on day one. The painter was very efficient and he completed painting the first wall. 
as planned on day one. So how do we calculate earned value is, you know, this one day is 25% of the total effort, right? Because we have four days. So the earned value is he completed the work as planned. So 25% so into four days, which is our total duration. So earned value from a schedule perspective, it's one day. And earned value from a cost perspective is we, we are reporting out 25% completion. So 25% of the total budget, $400. So that is again, $100, right? From a schedule and cost perspective, that's where we are. This just means that we completed the task as planned. So you, when we apply the formula, you'll notice what this each of this indicator tells you. So earned value on day one for cost is $100. So we're going to put that. And from a schedule, it's one. Actual cost, how much did we pay? We paid him $100. So it's going to be 100. Actual cost is not applicable for schedule. So NA. Now let's look at each of the formulas here. Cost variance is EV minus AC. So EV is here and this is AC and this is EV. So CV is EV minus AC for cost. So EV for cost is 100. So 100 minus actual cost. We paid him 100. So 100 minus 100 is 0. And from a schedule perspective, it's EV minus PV. So EV from a schedule perspective is one day to be in this column one minus one is equal to zero so that's from a schedule perspective so as you can clearly see from here itself the cv and sv the cost variance and the schedule variance is at zero that means it's telling us zero means we are on target cv or sv is equal to zero then we are on track negative then we are behind track and if it is positive then we are ahead so it's easy to understand with this simple example, but in real world complex project, you would not be able to tell just by looking at the plan. You have to apply this formula to understand if you are ahead or behind. Day one, we kept it simple. Now let's move on to day two, where we add in some flavor, real time, where things are not getting done as planned. So let's say on day two, paint started painting and the end of day two, we were only able to finish additional 15 percentage of work 25 percentage on day one plus 15 percentage on day two is 40 percentage does that make sense because we only painted 15 percentage of the wall on day two so 25 percent in day one and 15 percent in day two that adds up to 40 percent completion apply that to cost then we are applying 40 percentage to the total budget that is $160 so that's our earned value for day two and from a schedule perspective we are applying the same 40 percentage into four days that is 1.6 days from earned value from this is for cost and the bottom is for schedule it's that simple we have to know the earned value like how much we kind of completed right based on the percentage of completion and that gives us the earned value. So now we apply the same numbers on to our table below. So on day two, the cost is $200. That's what we plan for. But the earned value from here, we can say it's 160. So now you will notice the difference that's gonna show up in CV and SV. All right, now from a schedule perspective, the earned value is 1.6. Okay, now look at the actual cost. How much are we going to pay to the painter for day two? We already paid $100 on day one. Now on day two, we are looking at the completed job and said, since you completed only 15% today and overall 40% of total $400, that comes to 160. So we paid 100 yesterday. We are going to pay you $60. So add the actual cost as $60. And because it's cumulative, then yesterday's $100, then that becomes $160. i am going to add this as $160 because it's $100 from yesterday and $60 from day two. Okay. 
now look at the cost variance um there is no cost variance because if you apply the formula here it says earned value which is 160 minus actual cost is also 160. so if we look at this at this point we are saying well we don't have any cost variance which is true because we if we paid him the amount hundred dollar like a fixed budget or fixed cost project then we will have a cost variance in this case we don't have a cost variance because we are only paying for the work completed so as of now there is no cost variance because we didn't pay for the incomplete work so cost variance is zero schedule variance is ev minus pv earned value for schedule is 1.6 so we're gonna say ev is 1.6 minus planned value and the planned value is 2 because this is end of second day so that is minus 0 0.4 now clearly the negative indication in schedule variance tells you that the project is behind schedule so that's how these indicators are helpful in this scenario there is no cost variance because we are only paying him for the completion of work in day three so he started from the pending work here so he started pending that and he completed the third wall also he completed the remainder from the second day and he finished the third for day three earned value yesterday we completed 40 percentage and today we completed the reminder 10 percentage from yesterday and 25 percent here so we finished 35 percentage of additional work so we are reporting out the status as we completed 75 percentage this is our report on the progress so, so we apply 75 percentage into the total budget of 400 so that is 300 dollar and from a schedule perspective we are applying 75 percentage of four days that is three days now we are supposed to pay him yesterday's remaining work 10 percentage of 400 dollar 40 dollar and today's 100 so 140 uh, we have to pay on day three and we already paid cumulative up to yesterday 160 so that adds up to dollar 300 so ideally we would be paying 300 dollar on the, by end of day three but let's say he asked for for a cash advance and said you know you know what i know i'll complete on day four so can you give me 50 percent of day four amount right now and let's say we agreed for whatever reason so that will be you know we should have ideally paid 160 plus 140 but we also paid additional 50 as advance so that will be 350 let's say on day three we paid him 350 actual payment from a schedule perspective the earned value is three because we completed so actual cost is not relevant for uh, schedule so now let's apply the formula the cost variance is ev minus ac so in this case ev is 300 and the actual cost is minus 350 so we are minus 50 minus 50 from a schedule perspective earned value is 3 minus 3 so it's 0 so we are back on schedule but we have now an issue with the cost because we paid 50 dollar in advance so now if you look at the formulas for cost variance here negative is we are behind or over budget and ahead is under budget all right so I think that's a simple example the whole point is you have to apply the earned value percentage based on the completion so if you have completed 50 percent of the task then you apply that 50 percent to overall budget and overall time then you get the earned value and the planned value is you already know that because you planned for it so you take the difference between the earned and the planned value and that's how you arrive at the okay now let's move to day four and let's say here we completed additional painting for one more wall and i'm going to scroll down to the page so on day four what happens is we have earned value we are calculating the earned value we are at 100 percent completion so that is 400 dollar and from from a, that's from a cost perspective and also 100 percent complete 
that is four days from a schedule perspective so if we apply that here on day four the cost is gonna be earned value is 400 from here so that's that and then the schedule wise it's four actual cost so far we paid him 350 day three we paid 350 so we are going to pay additional 100 just you know just for the example reason so now the cost is now at 450 and the schedule variance is nothing cost variance is ev minus ac it's 400 minus 450 so we are at minus 50 so i'm going to reduce that so we are at minus 50 again and that cost variance of minus 50 tells us that we are over budget because we paid on day one day one we paid him 100 on day two we paid him 60 on day three we paid him 140 because the 40 dollar from day two and 100 dollar for his work and here we also paid him a cash advance of 50 so we paid him 190 in total on day four full hundred dollar so if we add up all this we paid him 450 our budget was 400 so here we are over budget so that's a simple example and how these indicators help you understand whether your project is on track or off track and the cost performance index and the schedule performance index is just dividing the same numbers instead of subtracting it if it is one if your result is one then we are on track and if it is less than one then we are behind track or behind schedule and over budget and if it is greater than one then we are ahead of schedule and we are under budget so that's the only difference so these indicators help you tell the story of the project in a simple example like this even without applying the formula you would be able to tell that you are ahead or behind schedule or if you are under or over budget but when the projects are large scale then without these indicators it won't help you to understand if you are on track or not so that's where these earned value formulas help you i hope that kind of helped you to understand what these formulas and what each means earned value plan value and what what need to be made sense of applying this formula and all that so i think we will jump back to the desk all right so hope that all made sense if you like this video consider subscribing to this channel and share with your friends and families who are interested in these kind of topics and i hope in some way or form this video help you to understand the earned value management and the calculations in the future videos we'll take a look at how to apply this into the project management tools like ms project and jira and how it all correlates with the same example all right that's all for me for today Signing off and see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.